we're going to have a look at forms and form fields. A form is a document in Word that allows you to gather electronic data. You create the basis of the form and then users can fill in the information. I've got a table on the screen um, and I'm sure you're aware that if we wanted users to fill that in they could just type into those boxes. Okay, So you can do this without a form but a form is more effective. I think you'll see from the finished product when we have it that it is a lot more useful to have a form rather than just typing in a table. To create a form we need to use the forms toolbar. So I'm just going to right click on the uh, toolbar area and choose forms. And there's my forms toolbar. These are the items down here that we're going to be using. We can choose what type of field to put in our form. I want a text field to put in my form for users to type in their name. So I simply click on the text form field icon and it puts a text form field wherever I had my cursor. To alter the properties of that form field I can use the form field options box and this brings up the text form field options dialog box and I can make a range of changes. For example, it's set at accepting text. I can accept lots of different type of information. If it was set on number then it would only allow numbers to be entered. I'll leave it at regular text for this one. We can change the formatting. I want mine to be in uppercase. And then OK. So there's my form field. The form field itself cannot be actually used until you protect the form. So I'm just going to protect the form now using the padlock. This form is now protected. I can't select the details in the right hand side. I just can't do it. It won't let me. All I can do is enter information into the form field. So if I put my name in there and there we've got the form field sorted out. I can't make any more editing so I need to switch off the uh, protection so I can do some more work on this form. Okay, date of birth, let's put another text form field in there and alter its properties and this time I'm going to select date to force the computer to accept only date entries and I can change the formatting of that date. I like the first option, day, day, month, month, year, 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 and OK. That will only now accept text. The next one down, preferred contact method, I want this to be an option box. So I'm going to use the drop down form field for this and alter the properties. And in here I can add items to a drop down menu. So I'm going to put in mail and then add and telephone oops misspelled that telephone and add and fax add and email add this is the order those items are going to appear in the list that I'm creating and I want email to be at the top of the pile so I can use these arrows to move that up to the top of the pile and then OK if I just lock this form for now, you will see that that item now is a drop-down list. And I can choose any item from that list and it will put it into the form for me. We'll unprotect. And put one more in subscribed with a tick box. This time it's going to be a check box. So it's, it's like a yes or no option there. And I can again alter the properties and choose... The size of the box can be automatic or I can define the exact size of it. The default can be checked or not checked. I'll leave it as checked and then OK. And again protecting the form. You can therefore see we can fill in these boxes. So that's creating a form. 
and protecting it so that only the foam can be used. In the next video, we'll look at enhancing this a little bit.